Hey everybody, this is Nick Jimarino from Global Currency Reset.net. I just wanted to just say hello to everybody. I kind of was a little bit concerned because I've received some emails from several of you guys who are on my newsletter list and you stated some things to me I didn't really like regarding you're going to cash out and you're going to private exchanges and you're talking to your wealth managers. Um, <clears throat> I really want you guys to really think about what you're saying. Essentially what you're saying is that the dinar has already revalued that all the currencies have revalued because this is a global currency reset. This isn't just a single currency. This is all currencies. So you're saying that you're going to exchange your currencies, your dinar, your dong. And for some of you, I don't know where you came up with this, but you, you claim you're going to be exchanging Zimbabwe dollars, which is funny because as I have stated numerous times before, back in 2008, when the Zimbabwe dollar hyperinflated, they came out with another Zimbabwe dollar where they basically, I guess they, they removed eight zeros. Not like what what they're saying in Iraq with three zeros, but they removed eight zeros sometime in, I think, 2009. And what happened with that? The Zimbabwe dollar was abandoned around April of 2009. So Zimbabwe no longer uses their own dollar. They use a little bit of the U.S. dollar. Uh, they're starting to move away from that, and they're moving more to like the South African rand, uh, the euro, and some other um, currencies. But essentially... Their central bank has even stated, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe has stated, well, until we get things in order, we're not going to be, you know, we're not going to really have much power because we're, we're not printing money. So even the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe makes that statement that they have no control over the uh, economy. They can't control in money supply. So they have no, they can't do anything. They're just there. Um, regarding private exchanges, you know, you guys who say you're doing a private exchange now, just, the only exchange you're probably doing is you're giving your money to somebody and you're never going to see it again. So I personally would never do a private exchange. Uh, I will not sign an NDA. And that's my personal reason. It's just because I don't trust a lot of people. And I especially don't trust people who I haven't met, shaken their hand, and actually have gotten to know them. Now, if a person were to open up a briefcase, show me a bunch of $100 bills and say, hey, listen, if you give me your dinar or your don right now, I'll give you this, then maybe I'd believe it. But th then again, why would that guy have the incentive to give me all of that money in that briefcase when he could just go to the bank, buy some, and then keep the money for himself. What incentive would it be for him? Because you can buy Dong at a bank right now. In fact, I would never buy Dong online. I don't know why you guys still make that mistake. Compare prices. You can buy it from your local bank for like $54 per million. And what are the local, what, what do they charge locally? They probably charge uh, at the shops, probably 60 bucks. But when you go online, would you pay 70, 80, $100 in some cases? So I wouldn't buy that online. Um, for dinar, if you're going to buy it, which, you know, I, I'm i not. If you're going to buy dinar, you could buy it online. But just check my site because I have some references to different prices. Uh, but going back to the private exchanges, this is just really disconcerting for me. I don't trust these people who are saying that they're going to private exchanges. And, and they have. I don't trust the individuals who, who claim to be able to facilitate this change. Uh, oh, we're going to exchange your money. We're going to give you all this. Do you really believe that? Do you guys really believe that? Um, so the ones who are saying their wealth managers are telling them about the dinar and they're saying that it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Well, basically, until you guys can prove it, bring in a little recorder like the one I'm using right now. Bring in a little recorder. Record your transaction or bring in a microphone. In fact, I got a microphone right here. That's the microphone I'm using to talk to you. Bring something like that in. Bring it in, hide it. You know, I wouldn't sign the NDA to begin with because I don't see the point in keeping our mouth shut about something that is perfectly legal to do. It's perfectly legal to do a currency exchange. Um, why these people are offering a higher rate, I really don't understand. It doesn't make any logistical sense to me uh, why you'd get a better rate from one person to another unless they just want your business. But uh, it, I just, I do not trust these. And until somebody shows me proof that they've actually exchanged, they've showed me their receipt, I don't believe it's happened. Okay, because you still get exchange, even when I go to Wells Fargo and do a currency exchange, I still get a receipt. So it's got nothing to do with that. But I just don't trust it. And you guys, I've, been, I've gotten like five in the last two months since October, October, November already. I've gotten like five emails from people saying, my wealth manager says this is happening. Or my financial advisor says I have to be ready to go. Or I got contacted by this company. I sent them my dinar, my dong, and my zim. First of all, that's a mistake. Anyways, don't send your money into anybody. That is just asking you. You're basically saying goodbye. I don't need my cash. Here you go. Take it. Take my currency. Why would you do that? You could just go to a bank and exchange it, right? Any bank will accept your currency. 
So why would you even send it off? And these people who are saying that they need to get their dinar verified by a Della Rue machine, that's another lie. Why would you have to get your, you know what a Della Rue machine does? It basically will sort through the bills and make sure that you don't have any counterfeit bills. And it reads the little bar strip. Now uh, you guys, my bank even has something similar to a Della Rue machine. It's a counting machine. They use it for the $100 bills they can check to see if they're real or if they're fake. Um, it's also a counting, de uh, counting machine, counting device. So that's what a Della Rue machine is. Never, ever, ever send your money off to be counted by a Della Rue machine. There's a book called The MRI Banker's Guide to Foreign Currency. I've mentioned this. Check my videos. You'll see my, my videos on YouTube. I have that book. And they're, they tell you what they have, what, what currencies are being used. And in some cases, they'll tell you about security features. Also, you can go online and just search for security features of Iraqi dinar. Bankers do not need to be ultra trained on how to exchange dinar. All they need to know is what is real and what's fake. Security features and uh, thumb, uh, not thumbprints, I was gonna say security features and watermarks is what they need to know. If they know that, then they're legitimate bills. So you should never, ever, ever hear from anybody who says, send your dinar off to be counted. Send, do not send your money away. When you guys want to exchange your currency, I don't care if the revaluation has happened or not, go to a bank or go to a currency dealer, something that's public. Don't go to some private meeting somewhere in the boonies where they're gonna tell you, uh, hold a gun to you and say, give me all your cash. Because guess what? They, there are sick people out there that do that kind of stuff. There are, and, they, and they're, they're gonna contact everybody. They go to these forums, they go to these dinar forums where they know you guys are at, and, and they basically say, hey, I have a way of exchanging a dinar, $3 per dinar, and you guys rush in like, oh, I better go, I better go, especially the ones in Florida do that. And guess what happens? You meet the guys and like, hey, so here's the deal. Give us your money, and we will give you uh, the exchange rate. We'll put you on the list, and when exchange rate happens, you'll be the first one to get paid. And you're like, oh, okay, here's my money, here's my money. All right, thanks, we got you on the list, bye. And you'll never hear from them again. And you know this is happening. It's been happening all over the place. Um, so I think uh, there was four guys in Toledo, Ohio, who just got indicted for some exchange scam that they are running. So just listen, listen, guys. Use your best judgment. Do not get greedy. Do not just think money, money, money. I got to have money. I got to have money. Because guess what? You're going to lose it all if you make these foolish mistakes. So don't do it. Be safe. Happy Veterans Day. God bless everybody. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.